I'm not my hair nor my breast. These are the words of Tanya Jacobs, who was diagnosed with breast cancer not once but twice. She shared her beautiful story with us. Let's have a look. My name is Tanya Jacobs. I'm 33 years old and I'm from Lansdowne. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in June 2014. Um, how I found out I had breast cancer is that I had a lump on my right side, um, which I then had gone and checked out at hospital. My grandma from my father, well, my father's mother, um, was diagnosed with breast cancer in her 70s and she also had a mastectomy. The second time I was diagnosed with breast cancer, I was a bit stronger. It did come as a shock um, because I thought that journey, the first journey was done and um, so I was a bit emotional but I was also stronger because of the first time I was diagnosed. Um, the process, well, it was horrible. Um, when I got diagnosed the first time, I went on chemotherapy almost immediately because they had to shrink the lump. That was seven rounds of chemo, which is basically called the Red Devil. And um, that after the first chemotherapy, I then had lost my hair within two weeks. Um, the second time I was diagnosed, it was a bit easier. I didn't lose my hair. There was no nausea and vomiting like the first time. Um, not much weight loss like the first diagnosis. So that, that process was just slightly easier than the first time I was diagnosed. My family and friends I relied on for support. I had a great support structure, um, especially, well, my current husband, which was my boyfriend at the time, um, my mom, my brother, amazing friends, and um, that really helped me through that difficult time. The battle I faced with my, I know it might sound um, weird, but the battle that I face with every day is, is what to wear. Um, because I had a bilateral mastectomy, and that meaning both my breasts were removed, I then had implants, uh, but when I got diagnosed the second time with breast cancer, they had to remove my right implant, and I am now flat-chested on my right side. So um, getting a prosthesis was a battle, um, getting clothing to fit me and not feel conscious about what I'm wearing is a daily battle. Um, so that is the battle that I face with um, every single day. I do, I do um, feel that the cancer might return. Uh, that is a fear that I sit with constantly every day. Um, however, it's, it's a fear that I, how do I say, that I can't um, be sitting with. Um, then I'm just, not living life to, to the fullest, but it is a constant thing at the back of my mind, um, which I then just push down and I push through every day. Um, I've learned patience. I've learned not to fret about the small things in life. Um, take every day like it's your last, basically. And um, I've also learned that family and friends and support is important going through this process. The words of encouragement that I have for those going through treatment or that has gone through treatment. So going through treatment is a, a horrible process, but you're going to get there. You're going to fight through it and God will always be on your side. And, um, and I say continue fighting, continue fighting this disease. My mother is absolutely my pillar of strength. Um, well, and my husband, but I mean, my mother and I have a bond um, which just grew stronger over this, this, this period, over these couple of years. And yeah, she's definitely been there through everything, through the sleepless nights, through the aches and pains, um, through the nausea, through the vomiting, so yeah. When I lost my, I won't, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a moment that I'll never forget. Um, I literally just started washing my hair 
and as I put on the shampoo and I was lathering, I, I was grabbing and it was chunks coming out. And it's a fe it's an indescribable feeling, a feeling of basically it just got real. This cancer just got real. So you come to that realization. It was a very emotional time for me um, because my hair was the one thing that I had left. And um, but after that, I some it just it felt as if um, I was reborn, almost in a way. Um, I was here to fight this thing and I was being reborn into a new person to fight cancer and my hair, when I lost it, yes it was emotional but I rocked that bob look. I never wore a wig. Um, if it was hot I would actually go out bald, well with a hat because exposure to the sun is not good. Um, but basically, I felt confident um, in me being bald. Um, so yeah, so it was just emotional for that, that, that small time period. But I got over it and I just moved forward from there. Because my grandmother was diagnosed in her 70s, um, I felt the need to have myself checked or a mammogram done was necessary because we only associate breast cancer in older women and not in the younger generation and so I didn't feel the need to do that and so I do say to to females in their 20s whether it be your early 20s late 20s early 30s um, if there is something that's not supposed to be there have yourself checked go for the mammogram because um, it's not supposed to be there you weren't created with that lump whether it be positive for breast cancer or negative, just find out. It's, I know it's the unknown that scares you more and that I think that was the case with me. It took me a really long time to actually go for the mammogram and an ultrasound and a biopsy um, because of the fear of the unknown, because of the fear of what if it comes back as positive. So early detection, fight it, get it before it's too late. Um, and these treatment plans and that will be able to assist you um, with early detection as well. So, yeah. so I think with uh, when people hear the word cancer, cancer equals death. Cancer does not equal death. It equals life. It equals fighting, surviving. And um, I wasn't treated any differently because only because that I, I was positive through the whole process, and I felt that I needed to be that that positive person in order for the people around me to be positive and stay positive. And, and that is what, what helped me through as well. It's just the continuous positivity. Um, so yeah, so I think the only thing is that people really think cancer equals death, which it does not, it does not because you can fight it at the end of the day, you can. And, and I mean, I did it twice, <laughs> basically. Yeah.